Hey guys, we are on our way to one that I've been to multiple times before. I had to change out a high pressure switch. I put I put a manual reset button for the high pressure switch and I've had to do a condenser fan motor. It's an older carrier gas pack, I believe. So um let's go see what's going on now. Stay tuned. Alright, let's see what it's doing. Alright, I hear the blower running, nothing else. Alright. Let's see what's going on now. Ow. Some thorns down there. Thorn under my finger now. I got a flash on this board and on this one. A constant flash. Alright, I'm in time delay apparently. Sorry about the dogs, guys. And this has got a flash. That furnace might not ever work. Flame sense fault. Why are we having a flame sense fault when it's 90 degrees? I should not have a call for heat at all. Alright, I'm gonna wait on this for a little bit longer and here we go, here are fast green delay, slow green standby. That looks like a slow green. Why are we on standby? thing has not been running it was turned off I'm gonna 
take that out and put in a contactor. That must be my low voltage right there. All right, this little thing is malfunctioning. Yes, it's a sure switch. Replacing a contactor supposed to be more dependable than a contactor that way it's not to prevent burnt contacts hey oh. right now it's not working all right so we have to remove this and put a contactor back in it that is I'm pretty sure that's not original. Let's make sure we don't have any power. No power. All right, I'm gonna try to put y'all somewhere where you can see. First, let's just disconnect the power coming in. like power going out is color coded but I've got these these wires up here what is that I can't see For the fan. All right, where's my my other compressor wire? All right, all that looks to be color coded. I see one compressor wire. Maybe that's it up there. Those are for my compressor. Alright, that dog's officially about to drive me crazy. Alright, now we just gotta get this thing. here these over here are my low voltage the blue and brown
All right, what's holding it in? Hmm. Now let's see what's holding it in. All right, this is the little contraption. Hmm, I see what we got. All right, we got common and run, which are linked. Hey, hush. Come it breaks common. Yeah, that's what it was. It breaks common. Are you gonna make noise the whole time? All right, now I got a jumble of wires here. Sorry if y'all can't see what I'm doing. I'm putting all my black on one side. There's one more black that is gonna need right here. I'm not sure that's gonna reach anything. I gotta figure out some kind of way to get this in here. Hold on a sec, there was a big yellow right here that's going to my compressor. Still have this one black wire. Where'd it go? Right here. That doesn't seem to reach anything. And I think that's for my condenser fan motor.
I do have a couple wires that need to have 240 all the time. So I need to find those. I'm trying to set y'all up where y'all can see. All right, we're gonna need power to the board. If I go show them some love over there, they're just going to get louder when I walk away. Alright, that's for my compressor. None of these are working. I just got to pick the bundle of wires that goes to the board and to the transformer and make sure they have power all the time. Lovely.
I don't feel it anywhere in there. I still don't know where that other screw went. All right, we know that's one of our bundles. And this. Let's see about this one. Yeah, that's the other one. All right. All right, these compressor wires, I don't want them to be tight. I'm not actually using the lugs. All right, there is another black wire we need that is not gonna reach. Mm -hmm. and of course we got our low voltage. All right, where's my blue wire? All right, so our two power wires go in here, and we still have this one single black wire. Let's see if we can pull any on it. Oh, we can. So I can connect it right there. All right, everything's color coded. So hopefully I haven't miswired anything. Compressor, compressor, that's gonna be for condenser fan motor. I'm not real sure what that is for. Probably my ECM motor. So compressor and condenser fan motor runs off of this one. There's a dual cap right here. That's where that goes. And the other one there might be for the ECM motor. I think that's ready. We just gotta hook up our power.
right, let's look it over one more time. Low voltage, power coming in. I've kept everything color coded. Let's see if something starts to run when I just flip on the power. Nothing's running, that's good. Make sure we got power. We do. I have a light on my board. So we got 24 volts, that's good. I'm gonna need a bunch more screws. I robbed my screws from the door to put that contactor in. First, I'm going to see if this burns will fire up while that thermostat's in time delay. I see a whole lot of flame rollout. See if that blower comes on. All right, so the board has power. I'm not so sure it's a good idea if that furnace runs. Right now, I'm just going <coughs> Forgive me, I got some dust in my throat. I'm just going to switch the valve off right now and focus on getting the cooling. I'm getting a fault on my ignition control board. Let's see if we can get this blower to crank up. I'm not sure it is cranking up. It is, it's really slow right now. We do have a variable speed motor.
I can't tell if it's doing anything. They use these relays right here because this is an older model. So they can use the same board and have an ECM. <clears throat> So it energizes, I think orange right here on this relay when it wants to bring on the blower from the furnace control board and it energizes white to the board which will bring on the blower at a different speed. jump to yellow that furnace let me see what the flash is it's got me locked out Seven flashes, roll out, switch, fall. I don't doubt that. Let's kill power real quick, get this thing to reset. <laughs> Let me make sure we do have 24 volts. I think that furnace is fried. At least that motor didn't sound like it was moving any air. Twenty-eight volts in between. So we do have our 24 volts. Board does have power. Now that we're not locked out on the furnace, let's see if we can get some air movement. It ain't moving. <laughs> oh please tell me I don't have a yep it's 24 volts Hmm. 
Am I facing a time delay? operation I know my blood work's not running right now let's just wait it out and see if it's going to come on all right right when I turned it off um Y'all gotta hear this. What in the world? Alright, so the contact is pulling in, but my blower is still not running. Look at this. The hub has come loose from the blade. That's what I thought it was. Lovely. Just pull the off. So y'all can see this. That's not supposed to turn like that. It's like a rivet. And the rivet is supposed to hold tight. Okay, now this is one of the, what is it? How many pins? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve pin ECM motors. We can replace with an X13, it wouldn't be too hard. I'm just checking to make sure we got a call on green. Hold on a second. Right now I'm unable to verify. Oh, I got the power turned off. All right, the draft motor sounded like it was not moving in the air. I had flame rollout. Alright, I got green and common. I got 24 volts coming in the board. And I got 24 volts going out to the motor. So the motor should be turning. Let's take a second and Let me see, where's the power wires going to the motor? I need to make sure this motor is getting power. 
it should be getting power 24 7 and that may be the reason it's not coming on yeah that might be it and that might be this wire and that wire up there in fact i'm thinking that's what it is let's kill power move them and see what happens i got, I got those power wires moved to the incoming side of the power of the contactor and look at there blower's working so there was nothing wrong with the blower I can get them cooling I got to get a new mode a uh, new fan blade but um that furnace is gonna need some work uh, I already know it okay I just disconnected my white wire and turn my gas valve back on so we can at least get them some cooling and advise them that the furnace is going to need some work before winter comes Let me get some screws. Okay, so for once, the problem had nothing to do with an ECM motor. Seems like that's all I've been doing lately. And a lot of the ECM motors I've been doing have been under warranty, so not even getting paid very well for them. We're on the way to get a fan blade for this, and we're gonna have to advise them about that furnace that it's going to need checking and servicing before it can work. I'm sorry if y'all can't see what I'm doing. All right, that's ready. And what we have here is a giant fidget spinner. <laughs> that's the only made by carrier. That's the only place you can get one. This, the pitch on this is just slightly different. 
so I hope it doesn't over amp this motor. It's hot, really hot. Like I don't want to have to fight with this thing in the heat. It's kind of hot. This one I'm not going to crank down because it's it doesn't have its oops it doesn't have a flat part. Crank it down. It'd be really hard to get the blade off the shaft. Man, it's like a mirror in my face. Right now we just need to wait for this thing to come on. Compressor's running. We're doing good. This is one I've been on recently. When I change that pressure switch, so I'm not going to check pressures right now. Well, guys, that one's done. Took me long enough. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, how about like and subscribe? And I'll catch you on the next one.